38 years ago today, Mount St. Helens erupted, resulting in the most destructive volcanic event in U.S. history. If you recall, and we're around back then, it was a Sunday morning when Mount St. Helens blew its top, sending volcanic ash some 12 miles into the air. Now, it took only a few hours for that ash to reach Montana. In fact, by the next morning, several inches of ash blanketed the Big Sky State from Missoula to Billings. Zoe Ann Stoltz of the Montana Historical Society was traveling from Cascade, Washington to Libby, Montana with her husband and two young daughters. As young parents, we were so worried because everything got dark and then there was this bizarre ash falling everywhere. And we had no idea whether it was toxic, whether it was benign, but we had two babies in the car and we needed to get home where it was safe. Now, scientists say the largest possible explosive event from Kilauea, the volcano mm -hmm. now active in Hawaii, would be just tiny when compared to the big eruption of Mount St. Helens 38 years ago today.